Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and watchOS 26 beta 2 released earlier this week and watchOS 26 beta 2 is available to developers. The public beta should be out in July, according to Apple. Now, many people were asking me to make this video, not only about new features, but about concern for their Apple watch, possibly bricking based off of some different complaints online. So I thought we'd clear that up as many people have asked about, but the first thing is the overall size. This came in at 1.1 gigabytes on my Apple watch ultra two. And of course was released alongside many other updates, iOS 26 beta two, iPad OS 26 beta two, Mac OS, TV OS, HomePod OS, and vision OS updates as well. Now this particular update does have a couple changes in it, but let's go ahead and take a look at the build number first, and then we'll talk about what's new. So we'll go into our settings here, then we'll go down to general. And then if we go into about, you can see the build number is 23R5296F. This just lets you know that you're on the current version. And as far as what's new, well, there may be some slight changes to some of the icons here, but there isn't a whole lot of changes overall. This seems to be more of a bug fix update and coming from beta one to beta two, I haven't seen a whole lot new. If we go into the control center, some people were concerned about the overall glass and you'll see that here, this is a slight change with the overall look, but it seems like you can see the background. No problem here. You'll see some of the lighting effects off the top of it. So again, this is more of a refinement update as opposed to a new feature update. And I think we're going to see that more and more with Apple watch. But if we go down to the bottom, you'll see that we have the water eject option here where we can go and press and hold to eject the water and clean out the ports. If you actually have been underwater with this or in the shower, you can clean it out like normal. Another thing they've seemed to fix here is if we go into the backgrounds, typically these seem to be loading properly. If we go into things such as the Apple watch faces here, the backgrounds on these were not loading properly at first, but you can go through and see all the categorization of this and it seems to be much quicker. But if we go down, you can of course see all of your watch faces and more. However, if we go into the messages app, they've fixed the backgrounds there as well. So if we go into messages, you can see the background is now showing properly. Sometimes this wasn't working. Sometimes it was, but it looks like it's been updated and it's working. If you sync it with your iPhone or change it on the iPhone, it will change here as well. Now, the one thing many people want to know is if I update to watchOS 26 beta two, will it cause my watch to brick or not be able to be used? And now, of course, you always have a fallback by bringing it to Apple. They can restore it for you. Sometimes they have to send it out to do that, but at least you have that. But that's one of the dangers of running betas when they're not public betas and they're a little bit early on. So that's just something to be aware of. But as far as that issue, well, it seems to be specific to the Hermes watches. Now, if we go to Apple's public facing release notes, go to view release notes, you'll see the first thing here is a known issue with Apple watch Hermes. It says Apple watch Hermes crashes continuously. If updated to watch OS 26 beta two, it is advised that these users do not update to beta two specifically to Apple watch Hermes. So this is something I haven't seen on anything other than Hermes watches where it will sort of reboot. You can sort of go into the settings. You can even unpair your Apple watch, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. In fact, if you go into your Apple watch app and you have an Hermes Apple watch, it will just crash. So you'll have to go back into it. It will crash. But if you unpair your Apple watch from the Apple watch itself, then it won't crash. However, then you may not be able to update your Apple watch. So I would advise against that and wait for Apple to release an update to fix that. Now, whether or not they release a beta two revision or maybe a re-release, we don't know. Maybe they'll wait until watchOS 26 beta three. So just be aware of that. It seems to be specific to the Hermes Apple watches, but it hasn't really happened to me on Apple watch ultra two. In fact, it's been much better as far as performance on it. Well, you've seen throughout the video, it seems to be performing like you would expect the overall icons. Everything is working well. The blur is good in the background, the reflections, everything is very fast in this update compared to the last one. So if we go into weather here, give it a second to load, go back out, go into something else. I don't use regularly or go into something that's real time, such as the decibel level here. It's working like it was on public releases with watch OS 11. However, if you're wondering if you should install watchOS 26 beta two, I would still advise against it and wait for the public beta. In fact, if we go back to the release notes, you can see a lot of known issues that are still here while they've resolved a lot of issues such as Apple intelligence and assistance schemas and cloud kit and control center. There's still issues throughout. So control center in particular, users cannot exit the cellular data options pane by tapping the back arrow workaround is pressing the digital crown. So definitely lots of issues still going on here. Nothing as critical as the one going on with Apple watch Hermes, but 
Again, I would advise against installing this update. And if you are having issues and you're running the beta already, you're on beta one, as long as you don't have an Hermes Apple watch, you could update. But again, make sure that you report things in the feedback app. Apple will then take that into consideration and then work on it as needed, working on severity and working down from there to get things just right. So performance is good. Battery life has been pretty good throughout the day. You'll see I'm down to 52%. Now this isn't great compared to running the public version so far. Some people have seen pretty terrible battery, but if we go back here, we'll go back to battery, scroll down within battery. You'll see I'm at 52%. And if we go to battery health, I'm at 100% capacity. So I haven't seen that change even on my Apple watch ultra one. So again, back up here, it was last charged to 80% at 1034 AM it's 434 PM and we're down to 52%. I've worn it all day. It seems to be doing okay. Maybe not as good as when it was on the public version, but in general, it's decent. Now, as far as when Apple's going to release the next update, we don't know for sure, of course, but typically they're every two weeks for through the first three betas or so. So based on it being released on June 23rd, third, we'll probably see it on July 7th. And then maybe every week after that, of course, we're waiting for the public beta as well, where things are more stable. And that's when I would recommend again, that you try out iOS and watch OS as you can't use watch OS 26 without iOS 26. So just hold off unless you have an extra device and be patient, wait for Apple to get things right. They've come a long way with beta two from beta one. So overall it's pretty good. Also next week, I would expect watch OS 11.6 beta two, possibly on the 30th. That's typically what we'll see. We'll probably have some sort of release in July with watchOS 11.6, as well as iOS 18.6. So be sure to check back for that. Then in the summer, of course, we'll have a bunch of betas. And then in September, we can expect the public release of iOS 26 and watchOS 26. And so that's pretty much everything for this update. Hopefully that clears up some confusion around whether or not it would brick your device. And as far as the watch face I'm using, if we go back here, this is the one I typically use and I get asked about all the time. If we press and hold, this is the modular watch face and I'm using the app Lumi in the middle for the complication. So if we scroll over here, go to golden hour, you can change this, of course, count down to sunrise. And we have a bunch of other options as well, but that's something that's a paid app I paid for a long time ago. It's been a pretty good app overall, but everything else is pretty standard. Weather in the upper left, date at the top, then in the bottom right, we have activity, compass in the middle and messages in the bottom left. So that's what I typically use. And I do like this new pictures update with liquid glass as well. Of course, I'll link this wallpaper in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.